You've been hearing all about glove boxes lately, but what exactly are they? Well, the glove boxes are the heart of the thorium express. It's where the thorium will be extracted from uranium, and this is how it's done. There are three glove boxes, all connected to each other. Uranium is delivered to glove box one and divided into samples. Then a sample is moved to glove box two. There, uranium is poured into the dissolution beaker and mixed with nitric acid. This creates uranyl nitrate with bits of thorium and plutonium inside. After everything mixes, the solution is then pumped into a feed flask. From there, the solution is pumped into the first column, the transuranic column. This column contains extraction resin that plutonium is highly attracted to. The same way static electricity can cause styrofoam peanuts to stick to a cat's fur, the extraction resin causes plutonium to stick to it as the solution passes through the column. This leaves only uranyl nitrate and thorium left in the solution. To get the thorium out of the solution, it's put through another column, conveniently named the thorium column. The same extraction resin is in this column, and it's also attractive to thorium, just not as much though. So the solution is pumped slower through this one, about six times as slow as it was pumped through the previous column. Thorium couldn't stick to anything previously because the solution was being pumped too fast, but this time, it has plenty of time to stick to the extraction resin. After the solution is done passing through the column, uranyl nitrate is the only thing left, so it's pumped into a reservoir that will be put into a grout drum for disposal. Now we have our thorium, but it's still stuck to the resin. Won't do much good there, right? To get the thorium off the resin, a lower concentration nitric acid is pumped through the thorium column. The lower concentration has properties that will ground the ionic charge on the thorium and release it from the resin, creating a new solution of nitric acid and thorium. Now onto glove box 3. The nitric acid and thorium solution is put into a thorium product bottle and run through an evaporator held over a water bath. The nitric acid evaporates away leaving just the thorium left in the container. Now we have our final product, about 70 milligrams of thorium ready to be shipped out to revolutionize the fight against cancer. I know what you're thinking. All that for 70 milligrams? Well think about it like this. A nanogram of thorium, a millionth of a milligram, has more than 100 times as many atoms as there are cells in the human body. So 70 milligrams is a really gargantuan amount of thorium and will go a long way towards helping in cancer treatments.